image creator open here and I've just done a soft check tool in 4.0 and it's just a simplistic soft check tool as a as an example of how we're gonna grab pictures um, and apply them to our soft check tool I mean that's the that's the benefit of having soft check tools as an option here for repeated measures just because pictures are totally worth a thousand words in this case so it's gonna tell the operator exactly where to go and what sequence uh, to start the data capture and it's perfect too for if you measure this part six months from now it's just going to look um, familiar to you and it's going to teach you or teach a new operator uh, where to grab the points to do this measurement so what I've done is I've created this soft check tool right here this is all the soft check tools that I've got available I've got a bunch out there but notice the icon in front is just this little SCT for soft check tool but yet the soft check tool just above it has got this series of pictures associated with it. Well, that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to teach you guys how to grab some pictures and associate them to the features in the soft check tool. So I'm going to click on this example right here, the image creator example, and just hit open. And then notice what comes up. Here on the, on the uh, left hand side, my little model uh, tree here has got the features that I've put into the soft check tool. Very simple and what it's, it's um, highlighting here is point number one. It's the first feature that I want to measure. So look what comes up here though. Automatically it wants me to select some base images. Well I've already put my base images into the folder and I want to show you guys where that folder is. So let's go down to the Windows Explorer. I'll fire that up and it's the same classic spot that Faro puts, uh, puts all the files. Let's go to the C colon let's run down to documents and settings all users application data Faro, cam to measure learn okay and I'm using cam to measure 4.0 here so here is the learn directory let me scroll down a little bit Whew, right here the image creator example that's actually the name that I made uh, for the soft check tool so as soon as I hit the save cam to measure goes out and it populates or it creates this folder for me and of course there is nothing underneath this folder here except a folder that's named base images so when I click on that notice what shows up these are the pictures that I took of the part that we're gonna do the soft check tool for so that's where it's, it shows up under the image creator example or the name of your soft check tool and then under the base images folder okay let's go image creator here we go now notice all of these base images are these base images that show up up here in my folder well I kinda like this guy to start with this 8093 so let's click on him because the image creator wants to have a picture to populate all the features so I will select it now notice what shows up and every picture right now that's in this soft check tool will be associated with this picture here every feature will be associated to this picture well I'm gonna go through them one at a time and I'm gonna make sure that I designate the correct pictures here but I do this one picture at a time or one feature click at a time so this plane has got four points to it and number one the first point is uh, is what's selected here it's got the red arrow by it so I'm just gonna simply grab one of these these uh, green dots here and I'm gonna click and hold with my left mouse button and I'm just dragging my cursor in and then I'm gonna let go okay so notice what I've got there is I've got a green dot that's gonna tell the operator hit this area and poke with a green button and I'm gonna highlight point number two and then I'm gonna click drag and let go right there so I've got the second click do the same with number three. Point number three, I'm going to click and hold with that left mouse button again, bring him over, and I'm going to set him right about there and let go. And then point number four, same drill. I'm going to click and hold, bring him up, let go. And then notice what happens here when I hit this compensation button. That dot will change to a red dot, which is signifying that this is to be compensated. 
and then I'm going to click and hold him a little bit and drag him a little bit over here so it kind of looks like it is pulled away from that part. Remember I don't like to cross my geometry or don't cross your geometry when you compensate after a measurement. So there are my first four pictures that I want the operator to see as far as datum A plane capture. Okay, now the second thing I want them to do is I want to measure this datum B pin. So I'll just expand that out a little bit. That datum B pin, if I highlight him, notice the description down below says this circle describes the datum B pin using four points. Now, I like to keep those descriptions very descriptive and talk about circles or making pins and how many points I'm using and if it's a datum and uh, that, that will show up when I start this measurement. Now, this is my datum B pin right here. And I don't have such a good picture that's, that's blown up on this area. So with that description saying that I'm measuring a circle and I'm doing it with four points, I just want to show the operator where to go grab that feature. So what I use is this circle arrow thing here. I'm clicking and I'm dragging. I'm still holding my left mouse button down and I'm dragging right about to there and letting go. So this will show up. Well that's kind of cool. Like this shows my operator that he's measuring a circle with four points and that's the first point that he's taking right there. Now notice if I just click through the rest of these points it keeps that same picture with that same arrow until compensation. So I click and drag that thing a little ways away so it shows the operator that we are taking that point away from that circle. Okay, now I could do the rest of these as well, but I think that's a pretty good example on how you guys can take pictures, put them into your base images directory, and then you can just start to create these pictures for your soft check tool using that probe library, or these little dots right here. Okay, you can use this arrow as well. That seems to work pretty sweet. So one thing I did want to show you though is once you've got your pictures populated here, you have to go to this JPEGs, uh, this little icon right here. Okay, and I'll show you why. Let me scroll back over to the base images directory here. Remember the image creator here, this example. There wasn't anything underneath here except these base images in a folder. Now. When I run out here though to the image creator and I hit this JPEGs, okay, notice what happened. It made a little bit of a chirp right there. And what it has done is it has made JPEGs now of each of these individual features. So I'll go back to my image creator example folder. Now look what just showed up. I've got all of these JPEGs now that are formatted perfectly for this soft check tool. So I'll come up here and see this measured datum A plane. Point number one, if I double click on him, look what comes up. See this picture here? Remember that was the first point that I want my, my operator to, to, uh, to capture when he's measuring this datum A plane. Okay? So now every time you run your soft check tool, it's going to run out there for this feature and grab that picture. So stick around for some more, uh, more videos too as far as soft check tools are concerned because I'd like to run through that example of how the soft check tool actually runs using pictures as well. Thank you.